Hey guys, today I'd like to go back uh, into my top stone collection and take a look at a mouse that um, is certainly very well known and um, is not probably as rare as uh, some of the top stone masks, and that is the top stone witch. Now this mask, um, like many of the top stone masks, was produced for a very long time, um, and uh, this one in particular um, seems to be somewhat more common. So I think that they maybe made more of these, or it, it was um, produced over a longer period of time. Um, certainly not super common as far as masks, generally speaking, um, go, but um, as far as the top stone masks, it's it's not one of the necessarily more rare masks, but I, I find it uh, interesting, um, and, and it has a long, obviously, history um, and was produced for a very long time. From my research, and um, as I always say, I'm, I'm not a mask expert, but um, from my research, it, it appears to be part of the D-line, what was called the D-line uh, masks, and um, it is um, particularly notable um, as the D-line mask because of this um, head scarf um, that's painted green here that's shown um, in many of the illustrations uh, here uh, from Pete's, uh, Pete from Devil's Workshop's website. You can see the 70s catalog page showing uh, this mask and here is a close-up uh, from that catalog um, and also uh, from Pete's website uh, you can see this 60s catalog page um, where it's part of the over-the-top line, again, with the headscarf. And it was produced even into the 80s um, here, um, once again, uh, from Pete's website. Um, the 1989 catalog shows the witch as well. Uh, in this catalog, it appears as though it has somewhat, um, as, as most of the masks do, somewhat more of a a bold and um, crude, um, if you will, paint job. Um, this mask, um, I, I think, is probably a little bit earlier, um, probably 70s or early 80s, because of um, the paint job on it is is a little bit, um, I guess, a little bit more subtle than the 80s version. Um, also found. Um, uh, picture of the tag, um, the new skin mask tag um, that would have been um, the hang tag from from the uh, I believe the 80s version here. Um, but again, I, I believe this one is a little bit earlier. It has um, sort of the more yellowish um, base color and a little bit more subtle paint job. Um, now, there was also an, another witch um, offered uh, for a very long time from Top Stone, uh, and that is, I believe, the R-Line mask, and uh, it was offered for quite a long time. I'm going to show you just some, some photos of that. It was not, um, it, it didn't appear to have the headscarf that this one does, and that's what makes the D-Line witch um, distinct. Uh, and so the R-Line Witch went back very far before I believe it was even called an R-Line uh, mask. So I'll, I'll, I'll go through the, the catalog photos here quickly. Um, you see here a 1950 catalog showing this witch. Um, looks, looks similar from the illustration, but um, it, it doesn't appear to be the same uh, witch. So um, it, it's shown here also in the 1960s catalog and a 70s catalog uh, illustration as well. And here is what I believe to be a photo of that R-Line witch mask. Um, so you can see it's obviously not the same mask uh, as, as this D-Line witch. And um, also the illustration um, for a, another mask um, also looked very similar in the illustration and that's that's a bit of the, the difficulty with um, top stone masks is that they were generally until the 80s um, shown as illustrations. So it's a little bit tough to know exactly what the real mask looked like. Um, but there was something called Old Hag 
uh, with hair, sometimes referred to as just old hag, and you can see the catalog photo or illustration in, um, of that old hag uh, here, and then uh, the actual mask. Uh, here's a photo of the actual mask. So obviously that's a different mask as well, but they all look very similar. The R line and the old hag look very similar to this witch in the illustrations, but um, this witch in particular, um, I, I really do like this. It's a classic looking Halloween mask, really. And, and as all Topstone masks are, it's crude, um, just crude enough to evoke that uh, feeling of early Halloween. Um, it is, it's an iconic, um, in my opinion, Topstone mask. And um, if, if not rare, it is, it is certainly iconic. And um, this one, as um, almost all of my Topstone masks are, is very, very soft. Um, no hard spots, no tears. Um, really, really just, I would imagine, the same as the day that it was made. It's, it's very um, good condition, virtually perfect condition, um, and it displays really well. Um, it's, it's just a, a really cool mask. So if you can find one... Um, I would suggest adding one to your collection and adding um, Topstone masks to your collection um, because they do, um, in my opinion, make for a well-rounded collection. Uh, so that's the Topstone Witch. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.